should be recorded in the other direction. I just saw this. I think it's pretty beautiful. I'm going to capture it. Oh, ha. Right. Let's see if they don't throw me out. I will pop it in the That's it. No, don't do that damage. Very nice. Oh, what we wait. He doesn't want to get very first there. Mm -hmm. That island that we see ahead. That's Young Island. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful to me. All right. Hopefully that's better. So hello again. Every time. Alright. This honestly is me being a little bit lazy. I did record this drive before but the audio was not as good as it could have been. So I did it over and still had issues. So instead of trying to do it all over, well, in terms of editing it and putting a whole set of music and voiceovers, I'm going to take the lazy approach, which is probably not very lazy, but yeah, I drove it over. You probably have no idea what I'm talking, talking about, and I didn't need to say that. But yeah, it's a beautiful day, though. Oh, I should have bought some lights. This we are driving from. Oh, we just came out of the. What well, used to be the Aquatic Club Gap. Or the Gap now to Young Island. The Young Island Docks might be the better location for that. And we're driving towards Kingstown. The plan today is to take a little run up of some of the areas in Cyan Hill. As persons would have been asking for Cyan Hill. It's close by, so it's not too bad. It's not too hard for me. I am on a few days vacation. A few. Meaning seven. That's it. No more. But I took them very wisely before two holidays. So you should always take vacations right before public holiday so it gets longer right so we are in, where are we annasville and we're just driving past the Sol gas station that's a honda hyundai venue right oh no creta i could be wrong i don't know Passing Ben's Auto Rentals. Ben's has a wide variety of rentals. It's not an ad for Ben's, but yeah, it does have a wide variety. Uh, where are we now? Coming up to Randy's Supermarket. This is the Annisville branch. Randy's has a number of supermarkets scattered across the southern part of the island. And we're going to take this route. That has now been developed. The good thing is that it's not 3 o'clock yet. Because if it was, there would be a nicely dressed policeman across there waiting for me. And no entry sign somewhere around here. So what happens is that in the mornings, there is one with traffic and in the evenings there is also one with traffic. One with traffic in in the mornings, one with traffic out in the evenings. So this here is I sound very monotone. This is the construction of so I understand it of a temporary well 
temporary school buildings. I had the same confusion the first time I drove this. It seems a lot to it. Leave that alone. Leave that alone. Right, so there. Construct and temporary. Yes. So we're driving down the Annesville, what used to be the E.T. Joshua runway. So if we were taking off and heading to, let's say, St. Lucia, we would be, we would have taken off by now. We're only doing 80 kilometers. Um, it's not a whole lot. Don't get excited. Yes. But it is a very beautiful day. Very, very beautiful to this. Ah, yes. There's a beach at the end of it. If you saw the video, I did a short video where I was talking about the beauty of black sand. That was right there, that beach right there. Over there, I have no idea what I'm seeing. <laughs> I shouldn't say. Oh, let me see. Let's see if I can show a little bit of that. Not that. This. That boat. I don't know if that would be visible, but where that blue ship is, pa is not packed. It's docked. I don't know, the shipping people might get upset with me for calling them all wrong. But behind that blue ship is Young Island, where you see those two yachts. That's Young Island. If I pan, pan be span. Ah, we got any grass. That's Beckway. In all its glory, and behind that, I think could be Mustique. It could be wrong, but it is a very beautiful day. I'm glad I did this now. I might still use bits of the original video, but this is a much better day once it's recorded. Yes, it is recorded. Driving up the runway. Permission to increase speed, please. A little bit. Just a little. Not a whole lot. That's a lot of school, huh? But. Right, so we have the bypass here in the morning and in the evening. Another well, interesting thing that is happening here is that there's a nice little shopping mall developing. One of the key stores in there is Correa's um, or Ace Hardware, I think it is. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, so that's a new building going up or another part of a building going up. This used to be the old E.T. Joshua, well it's not used to be the old, it is the old E.T. Joshua terminal building. Up inside the, what do you call that again? Uh, what do you call that? Oh, what do you, the tower? It's a bar now, I think it's called Tower Bar or something like that. Yeah, so it's uh, developing in a nice little shopping mall. No, no movie theater. COVID will deal with that properly. COVID says no. No movie. Oh, look at that. 732. Alright. What I'm going to do is drive the route that you would normally drive on a morning and an evening. So what happens is this. Police would turn traffic this way 
this is what used to be the exit. Am I supposed to be driving here? It feels like I should. This was what used to be the exit, oh, well not the exit, the entrance of the airport. And they snuck a little lane inside here. And they would send traffic this way. If there are police officers watching this. Skip ahead. Skip ahead. There's nothing to see back there. I'm not sure I was supposed to do that. Because we're doing a sand hill drive, where people from Sand Hill might be watching, let's take a look at the Sand Hill Government School, which is not on a hill, but is down close to the sea. And this is also the Cyan Hill playing field. I, I didn't name them. Smart would have been to turn around already. I'm not always smart. Sometimes I'm just intelligent. So Sand Hill Government School. So if you went to Sand Hill Government School, there's your old school there. Love that. Yeah. I'll do one more thing for you. I'll give you a look at the plane for you. That's the playing field. And back we off in the back. Oh, the pavilions for the main Annasville playing field are visible there too. Alright, so we should be getting home. little talking to about why I stayed so long. I'm not sure this is Cyan Hill. I think this might be Rosa. I'm just gonna take a little run up inside here. It's not Cyan Hill. Might have to rename this video to run around Annisville and Cyan Hill. Van is turning around. No doubt going to let down some people. The vans tend to move fast. So he just dropped them and he's gone again. Alright. And we're heading back down. And the van stops again. Oh, it's 
very hot. It almost feels mean to use this here. At these slow speeds. Alright, so we just turned in here. Continuing around. We're still heading towards Kingstown. My goodness, it's a beautiful day. As I said, this is normally used as a bypass road, especially early mornings, persons coming into Kingston. To try to get away from some of the traffic on the main road, you would drive down here, and you could do one of two things. You could drop in this spot, or you could go on the side. That's not one of the two. <laughs> what I was going to say, you could drive straight ahead, or you could turn left. Turning left will take us around to Cane Garden. Or I could drive up this way. It takes me up to Sign Hill. So, seeing that I want to look at parts of Sign Hill, I'm going to go this way. You can do it. You got this. Alright, so I'm gonna turn in here. This is not probably not the front entrance, but more like a back entrance to Sand Hill. Uh, Mount Gay Block the Road. Reminds me of that crate challenge thing. You know what I'm talking about. You can learn a few things from the crate challenge. One of which is whenever you set out to do something stupid, there'll be a group of people cheering you on. But most of them are hoping to see you fail. Which sounds like she wants to shut up. Sand Hill. Normally we would come in from the main road down there. I'm gonna drive that road after. Well, I could use that from the previous video. Could edit that in. Passing along the Sand Hill hard coat. Very hot. 
windows up to try to keep road noise to a minimum. Isn't it icy here and there? This I discovered already, it's a, a dead end. So let's not go all the way down there. You learn a lot from driving somewhere a second time. No, you learn a lot the first time. Right, so just drove to that dead end, heading back down. Somebody seems to love RAV4s, two door RAV4s. The Toyota RAV4 and the. How many people sit and hear me mumble? people watch this <laughs> oh. Arr, oh that's nice I don't even know where I'm looking at I'm not sure what some of these things are let's try that I knew I was going to have to back up at some point. Lost. Yes, day three since I got my beast back. I had it done for some repairs. I think I'll do a video of that. Some bits of that video would be rather embarrassing. But all in the name of honesty. It seems to be parts of Dorset. I don't know. I honestly do not know. to shut off. Oh, and it did shut off that time. There we go. You could edit that out. I have a faulty mass airflow sensor. Not a faulty, a dead mass airflow sensor. But she's still going. So as we come up to the Sign Hill intersection and heading back out onto what we call the highway. Nobody stops. Oh. Let's try this again. So this is the road I'm not sure about. Uh, 
Ah, okay. So we learned that one today. It's a dead end road. I really thought that was going to link somewhere. But apparently not. Apparently not. Sign. Oh, I didn't remember what church that is. As we turn in the road to Dorset Shire Hill, I think there might still be some sign hill over here as to where the boundary is. I'm not sure as to where it becomes, where it goes up to Rockies. As I started my Rockies drive right here, I'm gonna take this route which leads up to the Sand Hill Clinic which apparently is not very far but the Sand Hill Clinic is right here gate on my left that's a very big clock a very big clock at the wrong time Shut off, beast. Don't shut off. You don't need to do that. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, as I said, I'm not sure where the boundaries are, but that's the Sign Hill Clinic up on my right. That gate, morning on the right. This is the Sign Hill Clinic. If you want to see what is to the left, you look at the Dorset Shire Hill video. So, that I would say is Cyan Hill. The only other bit of Cyan Hill that is on the main. And that leads down to Cassan Hill. But I need to get back into town and get home. Sand Hill one more time for you. Yes, we have street lights. No, they don't work. Done that Tongue Hill bit in other videos. Running out of things around town. So if you sat with us and heard me rambling on for however long that was, I say thank you. But I also say to you that do things in life that count, that are of value. Some of the things that we kill ourselves over, when we drop dead there, they're of no value. Not even for us or those we kill ourselves for. Some of us kill ourselves for our jobs. If all dead today, tomorrow we will be replaced. And the work will go on. As of late, I've been thinking about things that have Eternal value. So it's eternal value. 
Now at this point of my rambling, my microphone started making so much noise, it was ridiculous. So, voice over it is. But what I was saying is that one of the things I've read uh, suggested that if Jesus was not who he said he was, then he was probably mad. When you read through John and listen to some of the things that Jesus said about himself, people would be shocked, they would be in awe, they would be, what? And he says, I am the light. I am the life. I am the truth and the life. I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me and so on. Ah. But what he said, I believe. One said he said it, or the Bible said it. I believe it and that settles it for me. Alright, so if you've made it this far with us as we are pulling up to KFC, we're not going to buy anything today. <laughs> we're going to say thank you for watching. Hope you're having an enjoyable day, wherever you find yourself. And I feel like I ended a video right here before. And I'm about to do it again. Still having this long pause. Why there is this long pause? I have no idea. But thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Somebody said they forgot. God bless. So God bless. Take care. And I'll see you on the next one. God bless, guys.